octopus sink. I mean, squid. I mean, tentacle sink. Who named this? I have no idea. A bunch of little cables connecting to one time code, one little brain, uh, I guess that could work. Let's talk about time code, what it is, and how to use it, and how we use it. Tentacle sync. This is our time code device. So there are a lot of ways you can do time code, and this is a really affordable way to get time code into your cameras, especially using mirrorless camera like we are. We shoot on the GH5, we typically shoot three camera when we're doing interviews, or if we're shooting an event, that's where these particularly come in handy. So uh, you can buy one tentacle sync device for about 250 bucks, and you need one for each of your camera sources, unless your uh, source can actually hold its own time code. So let's get in here, I'll show you what I mean, and uh, I'll show you with our zoom recorder. When you're thinking about getting into time code, it's really important to consider first the cost, and you also need an audio recorder that can actually receive jammed time code. At first, when I got into using time code, it was a really confusing thing. I really didn't quite understand what it was, how it worked, and it's actually a lot more simple than you might think. So when you use a time code device, it's important to kind of understand what time code is. And it's actually fairly simple. It's a central device that is creating universal time for all the other devices that are used in the shot. But in our case, for doing a multi-camera video shoot, we actually provide time code to each of our camera devices. So typically we shoot with three cameras, but in this case, one camera is above, you are one camera there. So we're just gonna show you with what we have here on the desk in front of us. So the things you're gonna need. First, you're gonna need a time code device and you're actually gonna need more than one of them unless you're doing a centralized time code. Today we're not talking about uh, Genlock or the type of time code that you would be running cables to each device. We're talking about a small standalone time code generator that uh, ends up sharing its time code with many devices and I'll show you how that works. So to get started, you need a tentacle sync. And in our case, we actually have three of them. Um, reason being is we have one for each camera and one of them will act as the primary source. And that one actually provides time for all of the other devices. So let's start with one tentacle sync. We will turn it on by holding the power switch on the side, you can see it here. And when we turn it on, you actually hold it down. The light will go from red and it'll turn green. So now we've identified this device as our time code source. It's started time code. And I can actually show you using the Tentacle Sync app. You can see right here, this is our red Tentacle Sync and it's got time code running. So we are actually going to now pair our other time code devices to this source clock. So essentially what you're doing, and let me see if I can draw it with a graphic here. You have your primary time code device that starts your source time code. And then you can have multiple devices from there that share or read that time. And you jam that time into the other devices. Typically, like with an audio recorder, in our case we're using the Zoom F4, you only need to jam time code once. And uh, the internal clock here then reads that time code and continues running very nicely and very accurately for a long period of time. So. Now that we've created time code on this, let's set up time code on the other tentacle sync devices. So we'll just go ahead and turn these on, but in this case, we're not making this a source device. So all I need to do is turn it on till the light turns red. Okay, so then we'll take our mini jack cable. These come with your tentacle sync when you buy it. Plug it into the headphone jack of your source device. And in the moment, now I want you to see this, it's really important. The moment you plug in the other headphone jack, the other tentacle sync is gonna see what's going on, flash, and now it's blinking green. And when you unplug this jack, you can see that they are flashing in sync. If you wanna confirm that even further, you can look on the, uh, the app for tentacle sync, and you can actually see that they're running exactly the same time code. Now these are generating really fast. Um, I can't see them in sync with my naked eye. However, um, if I were to pause the video, pause, you can see that they're exactly in the right time. So now let's jam the time code from our source device into the third tentacle sync. So again, we just turn it on. Wait a moment, it's on. We'll take our mini jack cable, just like we did before, plug it in, wait just a moment. 
it flashes and now it's green. It's received time code from the source device. We can unplug that. And now you can see that they're all flashing in sync. I bet you you're wondering how that works with your audio recorder. Well, it's actually very simple. Now we need to get time code into our Zoom recorder by jamming it. So I'm gonna unplug this headphone jack. We don't need this for right now. Remember, red's our source. Grab our Zoom. And I wanna show you on the back of a Zoom F4, it says time code right here on the back. And this time code is your time code in and your time code out. So you could actually generate time code from the Zoom. But in our case, we're gonna generate the time code with the tentacle sync. So now we've got this cable. This is a cable you can buy. Uh, on Amazon, I'll put a link below. You can also buy it directly from Tentacle Sync. That's where I got it. I'll probably link to that. And this is a BNC type connector to a mini jack cable that is designed to send time code to your audio recorder. So you're gonna plug this BNC connector into the input, the time code input on the back of the Zoom recorder. And this would be the same process for any type of recorder that receives time code. Some of them is like a mini jack or headphone style jack. Or if you're using like a red camera or if you're using a black magic camera, each of those have their own kind of connector, um, but they can all receive time code directly. In my case, I'm using a GH5. It does not have a time code input. So that's why we'll use the tentacle scene. So let me just turn the light on here so you can see time code is running right now. Uh, be, and let me show you quickly how to set up your uh, settings in the zoom recorder. S settings are going to be fairly similar regardless of what recorder you're going to be using, but you do have to tell your recorder to receive time code externally. So the way we do this, we go into menu and we will go down until we get to time code. Inside of time code, we'll go to mode and under mode, we'll want external. Uh, auto mute, we don't need. External auto click sync, don't need. External continuous on. So again, this is saying external continuous source. We will receive anytime I plug this in, it'll change the time code, which is good. And that's it. We can go back out and I want you to see the moment I plug this in that this time code syncs up. So here we go. And at that moment, now time code was received by the field recorder, by the Zoom, and uh, it, it actually matches the time code here. So what, let me grab the app real fast. We'll hold it right here next to our multi-track recorder. And I'm gonna just pause the video. And you can see that every single frame is perfectly lined up. So time code is now in our Zoom recorder and each of our tentacle sync devices and everything's in sync. So it's pretty simple now uh, getting time code into our GH5 cameras. We're gonna grab one of these mini jack cables that comes with your Zoom, uh, with your tentacle sync and you're gonna simply uh, take this tentacle sync and this mini jack cable, plug it into the mic input on your GH5 and you can see that your left audio input is just steady. And what is actually happening, and I want you to hear this, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit record on this camera for a moment. What you're hearing is the audio that this camera is recording and the left channel is receiving timecode and that's what timecode sounds like. But what's happening is it's actually writing timecode through the audio channel to the left channel on the GH5. So for any camera, if you're using a Sony uh, mirrorless camera, if you're using something else, um, you can actually, through the audio jack, do timecode. So it doesn't really matter the budget you're on, as long as you can afford one of these or two, um, you should be good to go. Okay, so let's talk about the features of the tentacle sync. These are really incredible little devices and they pair with your phone. So what you can see is the running time code as well as an indicator if any of them have come unplugged. Because if any time they come unplugged, for example, let me set this aside, if this was to come unplugged from the GH5 right now, I've lost time code. So just keep that in mind. It's definitely important to make sure this cable does not come unplugged. I've actually, in my case, put a little piece of Velcro here, a little piece of Velcro on the back of my tentacle sink, and it lives right there on the back of my screen. Doesn't get in the way, you know, I can still flip out my screen and do everything I need, but that's where my tentacle sink lives. It seems like a pretty nice spot out of the way. So also with the app, you can see the charge level of each of your tentacle sinks. These little guys will run like something like 30 hours. They charge with USB-C. Don't worry about these ever 
not lasting a day on set. You should have no problem at all. And one of my favorite features, if the headphone jacks are unplugged, uh, they actually turn themselves off. So don't worry about them going dead in your bag. As long as at the end of the day, you just kind of make it a habit to unplug them from all the cables and put them back in the pouch, you should be good to go. And uh, Tentacle Sync actually ships with a really nice, really nice little bag. Um, it's not, not super fancy, but it sure is useful. Um, it's got two little pouches on it, and this is where I keep all my Tentacle Sync accessories. Okay, so why Timecode and how is it helpful? The reason we use Timecode is, let me just give you a scenario on how Timecode has helped us so immensely. Let's say we are doing a large event and you've got the Zoom F4 back at the back of the auditorium, maybe a wedding, we don't do weddings, but large event. You've got this receiving audio from maybe your soundboard or something like that. And this camera's roaming around, that camera's on a tripod, and maybe this camera ends up out in the lobby for a moment and then comes back in. And we're all just shooting different B-roll items with the whole crew. What's so amazing with Timecode is in an instant, I'll show you the process of how to sync the Timecode in post using the Tentacle Sync app in a minute. But the most amazing thing is instead of the standard way of using the audio to synchronize all three camera angles, now we're using timecode. So in an instant, you can synchronize all three camera angles, even if there was a gap in time. So if you start, stop your recording without a problem. It's amazing to just in a click, boom, everything is lined up in a perfect multi-cam timeline, ready to go into Premiere or Final Cut. That alone has saved us so much time and so much headache. Before when we would sync by uh, audio, in a situation like that, the clean, crisp audio that's coming into the recorder from the soundboard is great, but the audio that might be coming into the cameras, depending on where you're at in the room, some of it might be blown out because you're too close to the speaker. Somewhere else, people are talking way louder than this audio coming from the sound system, so that one doesn't work. And you try to sync using audio and forget it. It just does not happen. But when you've got time code, every camera is in sync down to the exact frame and in an instant, it all synchronizes perfectly in post and you're ready to do your multi-cam edit in just a single moment. That right there is why I love Timecode. We use it even for interviews. Say we're doing a three camera shoot for interviews. You got your A cam, slightly wide maybe, B cam closer and then a C cam on a slider or something like that. And most of us just use audi the audio to synchronize those camera angles to our audio recorder. But with Timecode, it's just faster. When we get into post, say we did an hour long interview, we start stopped the cameras and the audio a couple different times. Nobody had to awkwardly clap on set, say take one, no marker slate, nothing like that. You just literally have the time code. It goes boom in an instant, it's all synced. When it's doing it by audio, it usually takes quite a while, at least in my experience using Final Cut. And sometimes it's just not accurate. Let's say there's a slight breeze you know, one of the camera volumes is low or something like that. And inevitably that one angle just doesn't sync up. And then you have to manually go in there and do all of it. With time code, that headache is over. And now let's go over to the editing room and I can show you how time code syncs up in the timeline. So here's how it works. I'm gonna grab my three audio files from my Zoom F4, drag and drop them onto the Tentacle Sync app it automatically reads the timecode, file timecode. Now I'm gonna jump over to camera one. And in this case, uh, I'm just gonna show you a single camera sync. It works the same way if you bring in multiple sources, but in our case, we actually recorded off and on for the course of about 45 minutes, walking to different locations on this property. And we had our host stop and give us little interview bits and then continue on. Again, we were in an outdoor environment, so he was close to the camera, far from the camera, etc. And so let's just drag in now the video files. It's analyzing it, and immediately it finds the audio timecode. And now I want you to see this. In a moment, sync map. Bam! Look at that timeline. And I'll go ahead and mute the camera audio and play this back. I'm in right through the, the correctional department. Uh, they'll either come in on the front end so that they can avoid going. I heard about the challenge and the benefit of being here. So it's pretty amazing in just a single moment 
what that can do. Now let's grab, we did a two camera interview with this guy here. So let's go to camera two. Here's his interview, camera angle two. I'm gonna drop it down on the timeline. Make sure that it uh, automatically goes into another group. Sometimes it doesn't, so we're gonna say this is a group three. And I'm gonna hit sync map again, and with an instant, there's the other camera angle. Uh, uh, as a group, group therapy individually, and um, they will have uh, a chance to to read the Bible, to listen to. Pretty amazing, right? What uh, tentacle sync can do. No needing to analyze audio, and how long did that take? Just a single moment. And now all we have to do is go file, export XML. And we're, I'm, in my case, I'm gonna say Final Cut, but if you're using Premiere, you can choose Premiere, and it will make a multi-cam clip, as well as it'll make uh, synced clips as well. And then you just import that into your NLE of choice. But that is my quick how-to on Tentacle Sync's software. I think that pretty much sums it up. Thank you guys for joining me. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. We'd love for you to join us. And uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Smash that bell if you want to see what we release at the moment we release it. And uh, if you got questions, please ask. Timecode's a really useful tool. And if there are other videos that you like or want us to make, please reach out to us. We'd love to. And of course, we're on Patreon if you want to support us there. And uh, again, we love you guys. Thanks. anything.